The numbers of Congolese refugees entering Uganda's southeastern border of Bunagana are swelling. The humanitarian situation at the border is dire. Refugees are in need of food, water and shelter. Most of the people fleeing the fighting are women and children. Schools in the region have been temporarily closed to allow refugees set up camp in the compound and also use the classes as shelter. Today I can tell you people are scattered. We have people around the market area and we have people at Bunagana Primary School camping there awaiting relocation. Um, but the relocation is not by force. The government normally guides people who want to be relocated come and we take them to the uh, reception center. Uganda has also intensified its security at the border and the refugee authorities say people will be vetted and transferred to refugee settlement areas. You cannot create another crisis in a crisis. That is partly why they have to first go through the reception of the transit center before they are taken to the settlements. Part of that is to do the health screening and COVID is one of them. The M23 used to be a major fighting force in the eastern DRC seizing the regional capital of Goma in 2012. It later engaged in talks with the Congolese government, but it says its demands have never been met. In a statement, the Congolese spokesperson of the military governor of North Kivu in Eastern DRC accuses Rwanda for supporting the M23 in the attack, but Rwanda has denied the accusations. Isabel Nakiria. CGTN Kampala, Uganda.